Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's video, I have a Paradisa set. Set 6416, Poolside Paradise from 1992. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build, and I've only had this set for a few years now. I would have been a newborn when this set came out, so I definitely had to get it after the fact, and I'm so sad that I missed out on Paradisa as a child. I would have been too young for it when it came out, and I didn't discover Lego until the year after Paradisa was discontinued. And I do remember absolutely loving looking at old leaflets that had Paradisa sets on it and looking at these sets on eBay when I was later into my elementary school years and middle school years, but even then these sets were really expensive. So this set is around 225 pieces and comes with four minifigures. So I'll go ahead and show you the minifigures first. This set does come with four minifigures. First up we have this gentleman, standard sunglasses, brown hair, plain or so. Not a whole lot going on, but kind of a classic Paradisa style minifigure. Then we have the staff member. I felt like this minifigure was in so many sets when I was a kid, but he's only listed as being in seven sets. So there must be a very similar variation that comes in some additional sets or my memory is just totally skewed, but I do love this minifigure. Then we have this lady. I love the classic palm tree that's printed on a lot of pieces and this torso around this era. I also like the freckle pattern she has, a little bit different. And then she's definitely my favorite minifigure of this set. This torso in Paradisa Pink is really nice. I actually had to replace it when I got this set because it was cracked and it was a little difficult to get. I also really like her face pattern. It's just a little bit different than the standard female face pattern pattern of this time. So four great minifigures. As for the rest of the build, I honestly thought I had already reviewed this set. I scoured my channel and couldn't find it anywhere. I had done several other Paradisa sets, but I was convinced I had reviewed this set sometime early in my channel within the first year, but apparently not, so I'm excited to do it now. I do consider this to be probably my most cursed set though. I bought this set on eBay. I got it for a really good deal and I feel like every time I rebuild it I find more damaged and broken pieces and I've replaced most of the minifigures at this point and when I rebuilt it this time the palm tree printed torso cracked and I was like here goes another one. So I think this will be the second time I've replaced that torso now. It has almost not been a good deal, strictly based on how many of the pieces I have had to replace from this set. But with that aside, I do love this set. It comes on a fantastic raised base plate, which you all probably know by now, I love raised base plates. And especially since it comes in this beautiful kind of minty green color, it's got the pool cut out, which is absolutely amazing and the stone printed driveway. All great features. You've got the little car too. This just feels like the 90s. Almost like Miami Vice vibes to me, which I guess would 
technically be more towards 80s, but just with that light pink and this retro car build, honestly, absolutely love it. Got a little mailbox in the front, which is super cute. We've got some flowers sprinkled around the pool. A paradisa pink and minty green striped umbrella. Got a little diving board and a little area to lay out and sunbathe because that was the time. <laughs> Gigantic palm tree with the large leaves, which are a little more rare than the smaller leaves. It's been 20 years since they've made these large palm tree leaves, which is so hard to believe. This staircase is absolutely gorgeous. I love that pink color. Again, the Paradisa pink, but just the cool spiral staircase is just absolutely fantastic. And these dome pieces as well. I love gigantic translucent dome pieces. You've got some smaller ones on the first floor that have a little parrot behind them and then these gigantic ones on the second floor. I don't know why they don't do stuff like that anymore. I did see the Friends Botanical Garden set that's coming out which I think may have some larger dome pieces. I'm really excited about that usually not a friends person, but that set actually looks pretty cool. Beautiful Paradisa pink fence pieces at the top. Also got a little flower pot, which is actually a translucent head, which I always like when they do that. So there are some seats that swivel there at the top, and then the place where they actually, I guess, do all the cooking and everything down below. I do like the pop-up color with the yellow drawers and cabinets. That's really nice. And all the other pink accents are great as well. Paradisa is one of those themes that I think they were trying to cater more to girls, but I think these sets are so fun that they would be great for anyone. I know without a shadow of a doubt that I would have had the best time playing with this set as a kid if I had had it. I'd like to get as many of the Paradisa sets as possible. I think they're just great, unique, original sets. I'm pretty sure when they were voting on what sets to do for like the 90th anniversary of Lego, I voted for Paradisa to be one of them because I just do absolutely love them. But unfortunately, they are very expensive now. Even though the set is only around 225 pieces, it's starting at $110 on Bricklink, which is obviously very expensive. It is possible that this set may be cheaper to part together. You do have a handful of specialty pieces or printed pieces, the base plate, but on the flip side, there are also a ton of regular generic pieces. So it's 50-50 as to whether or not it might be cheaper to part together. But either way, if you are a Paradisa fan, I feel like this set is one of the most iconic Paradisa sets that you can get, and I definitely recommend it. for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you're interested in extra videos and content, check out the membership program starting at only 99 cents a month. See you all next time.